Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Drams for Dummies. I am the number one dummy, Brett. Prove it every time. Those that have been with me, you know, it's true. It's true. Uh, I just want to jump on real quick and do a quick little bottle share with you guys. Um, it's just been a, I bought this a day or so ago from Bubbles, and I, and I had to buy it, and then I thought, why not? share it with you. I have cracked it. It's one of those bottles that I felt like needed to get a little air and, and see what was happening later on with it. Uh, it is the Lucky 7, the New Yorker. I had, So here's the thing about when you, you know, you know this when you're buying stuff, right? You walk in a store, boom, one bottle you've never seen before. I've never seen the New Yorker. Not a lot of information out, out there about this. So I feel like and, I, and in looking on their site, I think this falls in line with there's like three in their kind of um, finish series. So their toasted finish, their French oak finish, and this is their Amberana finish. So one, new bottle, never seen it before. That perks your eyes up. Two, Lucky 7. I One of my favorite bottles is the proprietor 14-year single barrel that I have up there. So I'm like... Let's, they do good things. They've got a great reputation. So let's see what Lucky Seven's doing today. Uh, three, Amberana finish. That's the new hotness, of course. So, golly, can we be louder? That's group love. Come on, man. Let's settle down, group love. Listen to some new releases on my Spotify mix. I thought that was a nice, nice level. And then group love came on. I was like, look at us. We're fancy and fun. Anywho, so uh, Amberana. Uh, if you've had Amberana, it, sometimes it's a love-hate relationship with Amberana. If you're a Bourbon Junkies fan, you know that uh, Sean is not a big Amberana fan, but Dan typically likes the Amberana. What is it about Amberana? It's it's an African hardwood, and it is known to kind of to pretty quickly impart a pretty strong flavor that is very uh, polarizing. Uh, a lot of people pull out cinnamon a lot uh, with Amberana, and it, it is. It's just sort of a love-hate. It can be over-finished. So I was like, okay, Lucky 7, new bottle. Oh, and, well, full proof. So I got the sticker right there that says full proof. And, I, you know, I'm like, woo, I like full proof. And then it says barrel number one. And I'm like, how does how does Kansas City, this little suburban liquor store that I go to, have barrel want something from barrel one? Is this a, is this like a, a trick? I don't know. I'm gonna go with the fact that this is the first barrel of Amberana finished booze coming out of Lucky Seven. I'm gonna stick with it. I'm gonna I'm gonna accept. I'm gonna just believe it to be true. And then all of that. And then you look at the price tag and go. It's not too far over what it probably should be. It's not too bad, but it's I don't need it. But man, all told, and really because of you guys, I'm like, all right, maybe I need to buy this um, so that my ever-loving fans uh, can hear my silly, stupid, dumb opinion about this. So, uh, six-year juice. Um, Source unknown, finished then in Amberana for undetermined amount of time. Let's see what we got here. So, slide that over there so I don't just fully elbow it off of the whole deal. Oh, and shout out. Woohoo! Look at that cool glass, if you can see it. Mm -hmm. little, little Rick House KC. Cheers, Rick House. Um, again, we talk about having your local store and being loyal to them. Also, have your local groups, uh, Facebook or otherwise. It's, it's part of the fun. It's part of the socializing. And, you know, it's a group that I've been a part of for a while. I'm always kind of that lurker on the side. Um, I'd post my, my blinds and my thoughts there and get a lot of awesome feedback from folks there. But I wanted to use the awesome glassware tonight and give those guys an awesome shout out because they're just one of those guys, one of those groups that does it right. It's not about anything other than just sharing stories and sharing camaraderie and supporting uh, the, the, the hobby and the passion and each other. So uh, get yourself a group, look around, do, your, do a local uh, Facebook group, search for bourbon and whiskeys and all that, join them and contribute. And uh, yeah, it just helps the whole, the whole experience of this. All right, let's see what we got here. 
So I like to dive in full face. This one kind of makes me have to come back here a little bit. It's, it's different than when I had it last time. It's opening up in a different way. I would say the first time I cracked it, that Amberana really punched you in the face, for better and for worse. I mean, it is kind of, like in my own experience, it was like love-hate. It's like, wow, that's really sweet and really nice and really, ugh, that's a lot. That's overpowering. I feel like now the oak is coming through a little bit more and some of, of, of more of the typical bourbon spice is coming through. But there is definitely, it's, I think you got a little grapiness in there, which is interesting. But the cinnamon's in there. Um, I pulled the note before, and I'm kind of still getting it, but it's way more muted. That cinnamon toast crunch. So they talk about cinnamon, but like it's not hot tamale cinnamon. Mm, hot tamales, one of my one of my favorite candies there. But it's not that artificial bright hot uh, sweetness. It's the sugary pastry sugar. It's like that cinnamon roll, sh that that white fro melted buttery frosting on top of a really good cinnamon roll getting that in this but like i said now the oak is coming out more than it was before which is which is b balancing out it but it's kind of creating a new different animal it's like a it's not punching too too heavy it's it's just but it's really sweet still but more fruits are coming out now more apples and like i said there's a grape in there it's really good it's not as deep and rich as i as i love um Oh, there, that, that, that one, I got farther in, that warm pastry, cinnamon roll, brownie. I even get a little tiramisu where you get that kind of just that sweet, boozy pastry. So yeah, all of that to say, sweet, boozy, but then just, but now you are getting some of the grain and some of the, some of that doughiness in there and some of maybe the oakiness in there to balance it out. It's not just sweet, 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 but it is pretty darn sweet. Let me, let me get a little taste of this. This is, oh, I did not cleanse first with the little uh, Evan Williams wash. So first drink of the day, see how she goes. <laughs> I'm gonna it's not bad it's good it's punching everywhere it's spiking it's punching as soon as it gets in the mouth it's like it's letting you know that it's sizzling in there it's like something's going on and I think so that's the proof um, absolutely what are we we're at 117.2 but I think so is that Amarana as well and then on the back end, the finish is doing a lot of fun things. But I also think that that was first drink, so I'm not going to give too much on too much on that. Let me let me get back in here. So now that I've acclimated a little bit with smell and with palate, it's not as punchy sweet. It's more well rounded and smooth. It's really nice. It really is. It's like it's like a smoke. It's got a little smokiness in there too. Yeah, if you like if you like a, a sweet oaky bourbon, this one this one on the nose does that. I'm on the nose, and it is a little different every time. You know, I like that. It's a little funky comes off kind of cold. I don't know if that makes sense. It's got kind of a crispness to it. That's really good. I'm going to go 8.5. Uh, that drink brought in a nuttiness on the back end of the palate. Kind of that drying nuttiness kind of came in on the back. <clears throat> so it's interesting to know where that came from what distillery we're getting. I probably could find it if I wanted to dig. I know they do a lot of Dickel, so that's could be where we are. And they've got, a, and I hear some, you know, people talk about that funk and I feel like it's in there somewhere. It's really good though. What I like about it is it's just, it's different every time I come back. 
This is really nice. It feels more like a summertime bourbon because it has that, that sort of brightness and that crispness to it. I like the 8.5. Let's, let's, let's finish out the palette and finish. The finish, it's, it's, it does a lot. It sparkles a lot. Sparkles, maybe the wrong word. Um, sizzles and, and, and sparkles and fades. Sparkles and fades. Name the album in the comments. Bonus kiss for you. Um, but it is there is some harshness in that spin and that ride. So I don't know if, I, if, it's, if it all the way works. I feel like the nose is really balancing out into something really nice with maybe some little oxygen in the bottle and time. It's good. It's really good. It's solid. It has that nutty... What is that? That, that kind of nutty, funky, drying finish. That's not fantastic. I said one more and then we'll keep, move on. Yeah, it, that side of the mouth, that side of the tongue and that cheeks, it's like it's kind of, it kind of, it kind of sizzles and, and dries through there too and it wraps around at the back end. That finish runs for a long time. This is, this definitely is one where you're like between the finish in your mouth and your throat through your chest, you, you, you know you did something there. You know you had, had a little experience. I think it's really, really solid. I think it's really good. I think I'm, I feel harsh in my judgment sometimes, but um, I feel like, I feel like it's a seven in the palette. Good, solid, not, not doing anything too crazy. No, the palate doesn't make me want to like, I don't want to like pour that and drink it a lot by itself. The nose is something I want to experience quite a bit. And then the finish is unique and interesting. It kind of comes back around. So I'm going to say a 7.5. So 7.7, .7, not a top shelfer. If you're going to spend 80-ish bucks, 80 to 100 bucks on a bottle at this point in time with things. Um, is that just normal standard operating? If it's a 7.7-ish, if it's above average, if it's a pretty darn good, really good pour, is that worth it? Or does $100, 80, 90 to $100 need to be a top shelfer? Let me know in the comments what that means to you. In this day and age with pricing the way it is, when you're paying up to close to $100 for a bottle and you're thinking you got a special bottle, is that a, does it need to be top shelf in your world for it to not be disappointing? Or are you okay with it being a, an above average, pretty darn really good-ish bottle? <laughs> um, what's my recommendation on this one? Um, for Lucky 7 bottles, if you see this, they're not, they're getting out there more. Uh, I think, depending on where you are, if you have access to this or you want to get it online, I think that it's, it's a great looking bottle. It looks great on a shelf. It's a great conversation piece. You've got the, the I don't know, does this one not peel? I mean, you don't have a peeler. The little peel and tell a story. Uh, but it is a beautiful bottle. Uh, I like what they're doing. You're going to have, you have something unique in this bottle with the Amberana finish that is not super common. And so that's going to be a conversation starter with people uh, to see if they like the Amberana. I think they do the Amberana well. I don't think it's ruining anything or over, you know, finished. I would say having to do it again, I would probably not buy it just because I have a Lucky 7 already that I love. This one is not going to be top shelf. That one is. And at 7.7, .7, you know, you, you want a little, I want a little bit, a little bit more out of my $90, you know, hashtag bourbon burps. Thank you guys for letting me drink this with you. I hope you got something out of it. Let me know what you think. Subscribe, follow, be a patron, do all the things. I love you guys. Whatever you're doing is awesome. As long as one of the things that you do is follow and love this channel 
and do all the things I just talked about. Share, like, patron. If you do that, I really love you. Otherwise, I love you, and you're doing fine. But we can do better.